hello guys and welcome back to this video it's digital leonard here and in today's video okay i just want to do an in-depth tutorial on how to use the bybit skilled order type all right um when i put signals on the platform a moment especially signal that has an entering range i will say okay start buying from here to here okay and how i want you to achieve that is using the bybit scale order type okay what the bybit scale order type help you do is what we do on spot that we call dca okay it helps you to dca into your position you can equally use a scale order type to apply the martingale style of trading okay so that's what the scale order um type on bybit actually helps you do and the first thing you want to do once you're on your bybit derivatives okay you want to come to where it says limit okay click on this arrow right here once you click on the arrow okay you see this drop down we have limit market okay conditional and all of these different other types here so the one we're interested in is this one called the scaled order all right so that's the one you want to go ahead and select so go ahead and select the scaled order now when you select the scaled order type okay so you have the minimum okay price and then you have the maximum price now when we give you a price range this is where you are going to put that all right um the way it works is very simple for the minimum if i if i'm buying okay if i'm buying the minimum here okay will be the first price that i want to be triggered okay and the maximum will be the the last price that i want to be triggered okay that's basically how it works now let's say i want to go long on btc all right let's say i want to go long on btc and i want to start buying btc from uh let's say 55k and i will start adding to my position start descending into my position once it gets to let's say 54k what i would do is okay add 55 right here okay and then the maximum here will be 54 okay now this is because i am actually buying now let's go ahead and use the slider to add the quantity now once you add your quantity that you want to trade okay you can use the slider or type it there all right for those of you who use the value in usdt you can type the value of usdt there then go ahead and click on this add scale okay orders now when you use a scale order okay there there is a minimum depending on the token you are trading there's a minimum of the value that you're supposed to buy okay there's always a minimum if you trade like btc solana and all of those tokens okay so in case you you use the slider all right let's say i do it here and i go ahead and click on the add scale order you see that pop up there okay that means this uh, 0 0.004 that you want to trade is not up to the minimum of what you should be using yeah you know you should be buying using the scale order so i'll go ahead and increase that and i click on it again and this pops up now when you come in here okay you have the option to do five orders you can stack like 10 orders 15 orders 20 orders it all depends on what you want okay it all depends on what you want but it has to be from two and above okay but i normally do five in most cases i do three if i want to do 20 others okay you can go ahead and stack now because of the quantity that i'm trading i may not be able to increase it up to 15 orders okay so if i want to increase this to around 15 orders then i need to increase this quantity okay and this is the range that i'm buying okay from 54 up to 55 all right so that's basically how it works so right here let's go to five orders and then when we go to five orders right here is where i want you to pay attention to okay five orders were five one two three four okay these are the different five orders we have here all right and if you click on this option here there are other options that you need to see here okay here you will see that we have evenly split which is the one i selected so with this first option if for instance you use let's say $200 as your margin or $50 as your margin or $20 as your margin it will be divided equally but in five different areas okay so what it will do is that the first order will be let's say 20 divided by by five all right that should be five five dollar right yes five dollar per margin per each position okay per each position all right so that's basically what it will do then for increasing 
now this is the like the matingo style of trading okay it, it, the second position will be double of the first okay the third will be double of the second the fourth will be double of the third the fifth will be double of you know the fourth so this is how it works all right so for increasing if you buy the first position at 55 it will be three percent of whatever your margin is okay that's basically the margin right here whether i want to go long or short okay now if i do if if it, if the second order triggers okay it will be double of this first all right that is when you are using increasing and normally what i do i use increasing when i'm buying because i want to start buying small okay and then continue to increase my order as it goes but in all of this what it affects is the average entry price okay the average entry price now if these five orders triggers all right if all these five orders triggers this is what your average entry price will be normally if you have just bought btc at 55 your entry price would have been at 55 but because you split those your trades into five different places at the end of the day using the increasing option it will give you an average entry price okay now when you are buying all right now when you use the evenly split option okay the decreasing works in the opposite direction okay if you are shorting it you know the same way but if you want to start buying big okay and then go down small uh, little by little then that is when the decreasing will work when you are longing okay when you are opening a long trade all right if i go to the evenly split option pay attention to this okay look at what the average entry price will be okay you see that there's a difference okay let's say i want to equally use the decreasing to equally buy okay the decreasing to equally buy you see that there is equally a change okay in the entering price as well so here you start buying big and then buy small 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 all right so uh, then if you are selling all right it is the, it's the, the opposite direction all right and all of that okay so once you are done let's go ahead and select the evenly split option okay to make it equal and then go ahead and click on confirm okay okay so now you will see your summary right here and remember because i started with 55 okay to 54 it is a long trade it is not short if i go ahead and decide to open a short trade for this all right so you see here that it will be you know triggered at current market price okay and that is what we don't want the reason for that is if you are opening a short trade okay the price for shorting please basically understand what limit orders are okay when you understand what a limit order is you'll be able to know how to structure this okay you cannot open to short a trade at a price that is lower than the current market price likewise you cannot open to long a trade at a price that is higher than the current market price if you do that it will trigger at market price okay so this is for a long setup all right that we have opened here so i'll go ahead and click on the open long and these five orders are placed as limit order or as pending orders if i come down here you'll see on my orders you see that i have five orders right there okay so i'll go ahead and click on the five orders you can see the different orders right here okay so the margin for all of this will be different but if the five orders are triggered all right if the five orders are triggered all of them will be treated as one trade that is why we were, i was talking about average entry price all of them will be treated as one trade now what i normally do is i will come in here okay and look for the first entry okay the first entry for this will be 55 right so which is this one right here so the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and click on modify all right so it is on this first trade that i'm going to once you click on the modify option go to the take profit stop loss option okay and click on it now once i click on this this is where i want to modify my take profit so whatever the signal your whatever you set as your take profit go ahead and put it here and then you go ahead and put your stop loss here now the stop loss will be bigger when i use scale order i use or i always trade on cross margin okay i always trade on cross margin if you are using isolated margin please make sure before you start putting buy from here to here make sure that you are you know what your liquidation price is okay because if you use isolated margin there's a limit to how far you can stay in the market all right so make sure you know where your liquidation price is and make sure that the range is not you know um surpassing your liquidation price because if it does you will get liquidated even before the second order will be triggered 
okay so that's one thing you should know all right the stop loss may be bigger but as the next order takes comes in okay as the order continue to trigger at the end of the day this stop loss will be smaller okay because you will now have an average entry price and all of that all right all of these things i'm explaining if you don't start practicing and using it you will not be able to understand it better all right i'm just giving you a clue on how this thing works when you uh, practice using it and you make a mistake you'll be able to get a better understanding of how it works all right so you go ahead and click on confirm and that's all i need to do but if you want to set tps and stop loss for all of these different orders you are free to do that but this one that i've set on the first order alone has covered for all of these things okay it has covered for all of these things all right so that's basically how the scale order works i hope i've been able to try okay to explain all of these things to you i hope you understand all right if you understand please leave a comment in the video description and give the video a like okay i don't want you guys to keep getting confused again and all of that please let me know that after watching this video you are not able to use the scale order type effectively all right so it is just option because in most cases when you have limit orders like this one or two of these order will trigger and the market will start firing up in your favor if that happens you can cancel the remaining one okay but if all of them triggers good for you because if initially you intended to enter a trade with let's say 20 dollars and use scale order and it's only two orders that triggered you may not be getting up to that 20 dollars as your margin all right so that's where the issue is so me to trigger and then it will just keep firing up and you say oh i wish i would have entered this trade with hundred dollars and the rest but it's still the same thing okay the scale order is there to help you and in the case where there is a deep drop and market start dropping with the scale order you will probably be losing more that is if you have added more margin than you initially wanted to use all right i hope this is um, very clear if it is give this a, if give this video a thumbs up okay and i hope you start using the scale order effectively today if there is anything you are still confused with you can always ask your question using the comment section and make sure you are on telegram okay join us on telegram and take advantage of all the free stuff free you know alphas free tutorials free you know signals that we share every day okay that is it for this video guys and i will see you in the next video